Many have driven, cycled and even walked from Cape to Cairo. But this group of ambitious young men and women wanted to take it to another level. I was like, oh my word, how cool would it be if 20 teenagers could build a plane and then fly it across Africa and imagine what that would do to their mindset. It took just three weeks for the team to build the four-seater plane. As they make their way to Namibia, Tanzania, Ethiopia and eventually Egypt, there will be many firsts and many challenges. I've never been anywhere. I've, I've never been outside my country. So yeah, this is going to be a great experience. There is a war at the moment, a civil war in Sudan, and they just shoot down aircraft. So they shoot first and ask later. <laughs> so um, Sudan was part of our ruse, and we don't know yet how we're going to get through Sudan. So that is a pretty big challenge. With no restroom on board, the team will have to have bladders of steel during their five hours stretches of flying. You go to the toilet before you depart. <laughs> that is my plan for now. We're going to be packing like uh, energy bars, things like that, for where we not access to shops and uh, where we can get food. So uh, I think we're going to be all right. <laughs> and entertainment, we've got ourselves. We'll have chats and get to know each other more. A safety aircraft will fly with the group to ensure their safety and send updates. Pilar Cape Town.